Flagship Limiter Limitless offers pre-limit clipping controls. These provide various functions for dynamic control before the limiting stage. In the clipping section, you can clip the transients of input material prior to the limiting stage to stop the limiter reacting so much to these peaks. In a way, then, these clipping controls limit the action of the limiter. In this video, we'll look at two main applications, wave shaping and analog to digital conversion. The swell modes can be used to add all sorts of dirt and grit. They're apt for using on individual tracks and buses as a wave shaper. It's easy to hear how they affect the material using this sine wave. In each case, the soften control tunes the swell algorithm. You can also use the swell modes to introduce some pleasant harmonic distortion on the master. Swell 1 and 2 add third order harmonic distortion to increase the perceived level. Here we can hear the limiters having to work really hard, especially on the huge transients of the kick and snare. I'll increase the drive so we can clearly hear that harmonic distortion. Then I'll lower the soften control towards harder clipping shapes. You can control the wet dry balance using a mount, and I'll lower the output trim for the clipper before the limiting stage. Click clipping to toggle it off, and here's with it on. Using the knee setting, higher values simulate drive in analog to digital conversion without needing to go to hardware. Here I'll raise the drive to catch some transients. This offers some really hard ADC clipping. I'll start to increase the soften parameter here to emulate converters that have some soft saturation. Let's hear our material without the clipping controls. And back on. Oversampling can produce a cleaner sound at higher rates, but at the cost of using CPU. You might want to turn it on when you do your final render to reduce aliasing artifacts. With our clipping controls, the limiter doesn't have to work so hard, and we're oversampling at a very high rate. Sounding good.